Well, good afternoon. This is Steve Baumgartner, the Baumgartner Ranch. Today, I'm going to go over recycling bottles for wine. Stay tuned. Be right back. All right. Hey, welcome back. Steve Baumgartner here again with Baumgartner Ranch. Today, I'm going to tell you about recycling bottles for your wine. A lot of people don't like to do it, which is cool, uh, but for home uh, winemakers, it kind of uh, keeps the cost down. To buy, I think they come in 12 packs, it's gonna cost you about a dollar, a little over a dollar a bottle, which can get kind of expensive when each batch does about 30 bottles. So that's 30 bucks right off the top. Then you do your corks, then you have to do your caps if you use those, then if you label them, so by the time you, uh, before you even have any wine in it, you're probably spending five bucks just all on the bottle already. So if we can reduce the cost in any way, that's what we're gonna do. So I recycle many bottles, not all bottles. Um, this one in particular is a, I call it a Magnum, a little too big. If you're drinking this kind of wine, just go to Kmart, <laughs> whoever sells it. And you can get a big bottle for five bucks and get your drunk on. So, but that's not what we're about. I'm more into the smaller bottles. Um, you can see I have, uh, actually recycle my Shiner beer bottles. Uh, a little more difficult, have to be a little more, um, um, I guess, petite with it because the bottles are thinner. Um, granted, they did have carbonation in them so they can handle some pressure, um, but I'm putting pressure on the neck, which is, uh, I've had some crack and I've had to throw the wine away. So I have to be really careful. Now these bottles are again just under a buck a piece. So I figure, well since I drink beer, might as well recycle them, right? So that's that. And then we have um, your other wines. People drink other brands because mine's not available in stores. So. What I have done in the past with people is whatever they drink, if they bring in me the empty bottle, labels off, no residual on the bottom, you know, if it's basically clean, give me um, 30 of those, I'll give you a full bottle of wine. Whatever type I have in stock that you like. I think that's a pretty good deal. You said they're going to drink that wine anyway, might as well bring the bottle back, even if it's my label. Bring it back clean, just don't take off my label. That's the only caveat there. So I think that's pretty cool. So anyway, getting back to the cleaning of the bottles. Very essential. Everything that you use for wine that touches the wine from start to finish has to be sanitized. I start off with um, potassium metabisulfate comes in a powdered form, put it in these uh, jugs, mix them up, and I put it in the big jugs because I use a lot of it. Uh, I run it through my bottle cleaners, I run it through all the tubes that I have back here. They all get it before, during, and after um, process. All the uh, carboys, which I don't have any of the pictures, but they get it cleaned. Anything that touches the wine gets sanitized. That's just period. Now, if you forget something, it's not like the end of the world. Um, the alcohol kills a lot of anything that's in there anyway, so I wouldn't worry a whole lot about it. So, uh, potassium metabisulfate goes in first. Now, this right here is a uh, bottle cleaner. So, we pour our metabisulfate in there, start out with. Um, prior to that, you want to try to get any particulates out. Like a lot of people kill these around in the garage and they get bugs and all kind of stuff. So you have to wash that out first. And I just use regular hot water, get the most of it out. After that, I put in the metabisulfate and this has shoots out of top like a fountain. Here, I'll do a little bit of it. There you go. <laughs> Another mess to clean up. Anyway, so you put the bottle on here and you do it. Try to get around the edges, get all anything that's out of there, and it also sanitizes it along the way. Okay, so that's that. 
And then I also have a, a, a second one of these. And my table wasn't big enough, so I didn't bring it out. But that's when I put in what's called the uh, Easy Clean. And what that does, it's just a, um, a no rinse cleanser. And that just gets out a lot of this metabisulfate. Now, the reason I do that to start off with is because the metabisulfate is also a uh, fermenter um, inhibitor. And so when I'm starting off, I don't want the fermenting to be inhibited too much. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just use that cleaner after the metabisulfate because it's been sanitized. Now I'm just getting the, kind of the metabisulfate out of there for the beginning stages. So that's that. Um, so that goes through, clean off the bottles. This is a, a drying tree. Between each of those processes, I put it on here and it drips out into this drip pan. So you can see that I've been doing this uh, for a while. Um, so that, that's uh, basically it along the way. Uh, if I do get the bottles and they don't have the labels off, then I have to soak them in water for probably uh, four hours in hot water. And that kind of gets the gum off the bottom. Then I can start scraping them. And I have to use a razor blade many of the times. Uh, luckily with the uh, Beer bottles, they just come right on off with hot water. These, are, they're getting harder and harder to get off. So I use a razor blade and I always push away from myself so I don't slice my hands or myself when I'm doing this. So if you're into uh, recycling, uh, hang on to your bottles. Uh, you can clean them and you can use them. Uh, that's a good route to go to save yourself some money. So. That's about it for the cleaning and recycling of the bottles. Uh, next video, I will let's see what am I do. I'm going to actually go through and do. Uh, might start a kit, maybe. I'm trying to figure out the process of this. Uh, I don't have a kit in process at the moment, so I'm trying to kind of hold off on that. Um, but we'll get there. So anyway. Steve Baumgartner, Baumgartner Ranch, thanks for joining me today. And uh, hang in there, and I'll do the same. Oh, oh, yeah. And don't forget to subscribe, very important. Tell your friends, because I'm sure most people don't know how to clean bottles. So, hang in there, I'll see you later.